In this tutorial, we're going to discuss conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is simply an automated tool that Excel has that allows you to analyze trends in large packets and tables of data. As you can see with our spreadsheet right here, we have Star Wars Buddies. It's a basic financial model that has the revenue for customers on a monthly basis and then totals it up. It's good, however, if you want to really see trends like who your highest paying customers are along with your, uh, and see it by month and see if you can find packages or packets of time where you do better than others, conditional formatting is a great way to do that. To start the process, you highlight the cells that you want to analyze. Be careful not to include the totals or else I'll skew the data. And then on the home ribbon, you go up to conditional formatting, and we're going to start off with data bars. You hover over data bars, and it gives you the option for a gradient fill or a solid fill. For gradient fill, we're going to select this blue one, click it, and then you can see all of those cells have now been filled with all of these new gradient data bars that are going to allow you to quickly analyze who your highest paying customers are by month just by quickly taking a cursory look at it and so you can see uh, you have Darth and you have Chewy right here both at a thousand and for every dollar down that the customer is you can see the bar goes down the way Excel runs this is off a hundred percent type of model so you whoever whatever the highest amount in the table is is considered a hundred percent and then it just gradually decreases it from there uh, based off of the rest of the comparative data. Now that's if we're wanting to do a gradient fill in each one of those columns. Uh, we're going to hit control Z and undo it and go back up to conditional formatting and go look at color scales. With color scales you can choose between a number of different colors. We're going to pick the ones that are all green and it does the same thing that the data bars did and except in this case it makes the ones with the greatest values have the darkest fill and then goes down from there all the way to where you have this lowest amount the fifty dollars is completely white this is if you want to have a very colorful type chart and you can control all of these colors in the uh, in the options box control Z takes us back down to our uh, starting point and then we're going to look at the third option which are icon sets. The icon sets work off of a greater than less than type of algorithm. So you're going to hover over icon, icon set and we're going to come to this green yellow red light uh, option and because they take up each cell we're going to extend each of these so that all of our data shows up. Okay, now you can see all of it and by default uh, Excel is not very good at you know, choosing a greater than less than because it has no idea of you know what you consider good and what you consider bad. So we're going to highlight each of these cells to give some actual rules associated with these icons. So we're going to go to manage rules and as you can see, the icon set is already listed in there. You gotta click Edit Rule. And now you can see all of the different details associated with that icon set. You can see right now it's at a percent. We want to change it to a number, and a number here. And we want to say anything over 750 is good or is, gets a green light everything above greater than or equal to 500 gets a yellow light and everything below that is going to get a red light. Hit OK, apply, and OK. And now as you can see in the chart you have anything that is $750 or above is getting a green light and then you see a few yellows here that are above 500 and then the rest are red. This is great for analyzing data for a number of different purposes, specifically if you're trying to target customers that you uh, really want to find out you know, 
uh, who you want to call or which numbers uh, are lower for specific months so you can try to work with them and bring those up if you're doing this for a sales type purpose. Uh, if you're doing it, for, say you have a trucking company and you're trying to calculate different mileages or you know, which trucks are performing better than others, this is another good way that you can get uh, visual red flags and you can also see who uh, your better uh, workers are. So there's a number of different uh, ways that you can use icon sets and uh, this greater than, less than type system to very quickly and easily add visual aids to your spreadsheets.